And again, you know, for years I looked at the whole idea of, a, of, of demon. I go way back because I'm old to the Linda Blair exorcist, you know, the head turning 360 degrees. I'm thinking, you know, that's demonic. But it's much more subtle than that right there. Good Christian people can open doors or portals to the enemy. And again, I will say it, sometimes without even knowing they've done it. And these portals, these doors we open, allow the demonic to come in and take residence. Not in our spirit, but in our mind and our flesh. So Paul tells us how to defend against them in verse 13. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. So, you know, Paul, he tells us, here's the deal, but here's how you fix it. Notice what it does not say that God puts your armor on. He tells you to put your armor on. You are the one to put it on. So here, here's, here's what you got to catch. How many recognize in Ephesians 6 you're supposed to wear your armor every day? Huh? So look, if you're not intentional, you're not going to put it on. Because how many of us are real good at procrastinating? The rest of you are procrastinating to raise your hand. <laughs> you have to be intentional every morning to put the armor on. When you get up in the morning, the first thing you ought to do is, I better put the armor on right now. Before I even get up, get my coffee. Well, maybe you get your coffee first. I don't know. That's pretty close.